Street has been running at the market theatre for a few days now. It comprises of a trio of monologues performed by uh, Lionel Newton. Beside him is Kutuano Masote, who plays the cello. Throughout the piece, the theme of greed is bluntly explored. Now, Selven Strike, the director of the production, joins me now to tell, talk us through it. So, good morning. Welcome. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, by the way. And to you. I hope it's a good one for all of us. For all of us. Uh, let's talk about the three monologues, The Pied Piper of Hamelin uh, by Robert Browning, The Handover and The Jasmine Jewel. Why this three in particular? It's an interesting choice and I think, a, 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 you know, one doesn't often see a, a, an actor performing monologues anymore. Mm -hmm. It's something that's quite rare. And so we've chosen work that uh, has a theme running through it. And that is, one is a historical work. Robert Browning wrote The Pied Piper over 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a story we all know in the back of our minds, but we haven't really taken the time to know what it's really about. I was about to ask you that, yeah. So we know that The Pied Piper got rid of the rats and then mm. he took the children. But why did he take the children? Why did the children follow him? Okay. And uh, the reason for that is because the mayor who promised the Pied Piper a thousand guilders if he got rid of the rats went back on his promise and paid him nothing. And the Pied Piper taught the people a lesson. Mm. And I think the theme is, and throughout the show in fact, is that we pay for the sins of our forefathers. The children are going to take the brunt. Mm. Why greed though? Well, isn't it a theme that's going on quite a bit in our society? Mm. Isn't it a theme we should be very much aware of and work against in the 20 years of our democracy? Mm. And that was, so it was obvious to choose that. And how's the, how, how's people responded? I mean, you started running the show on Wednesday the 8th. Just talk to me about the audience's response. Yes, we've pre we previewed on Wednesday the 8th and 9th, uh, Thursday the 9th, and then we opened to the press on Friday the 10th, which was an immense success. In fact, all three shows so far, and I'm told last night was very good as well. I wasn't able to go in. But um, I think people's response to it has been astonishing, uh, purely because they're not used to this format. Mm. It's an actor, a brilliant actor. Lionel Newton is known amongst us and is one of our, our most seasoned actors acting opposite a cello. And so you have yeah. a combination of a cello, brilliant musician, mm. Kutuano Masote, who's known amongst musicians, but not known to theatrical people, really. Um, and he's accompanying Lionel, almost like a film score accompanies a film. Because mm. one often asks me, you know, people ask me, well, how does it work to have a cello accompanying a theater piece where mm. an act has to be heard? Um, and so the combination of a cello with these three pieces, uh, they're incredibly funny pieces too, and Lionel's the most amazing physical performer. So you're entertained on a visual level, you're entertained on a intellectual level, but you're also entertained on a musical level. And so the combination of those three elements is very powerful. For those who haven't seen it, I mean the production, what can they take away? Why do they need to come and fill the seats? It's a good way to start the year. Mm. It's an amazingly entertaining show. It's also a show that leaves you with something you need to hear, I think. Um, and without it lecturing you, it touches your soul, it moves you, it's poetic, um, highly entertaining, as I said. But it, it kickstarts you into th thinking and reassessing priorities. Mm. Very quickly, if you want tickets, you've got 10 seconds. If you want to get tickets? Yes, oh, so it's markettheatre.co.za or CompuTicket, simple enough. And the r show runs from Tuesdays to Sundays. On Sundays, it's a matinee, so today it's on at 3 o'clock. Okay. Um, tickets at the door. And uh, yeah, it, it runs at 8.15 the rest of the week. Okay, With a cool. special on Tuesday. So With a special on special Tuesday. Price. That, of course, is director of Agreed, Sylvan Strike, talking to us about the production. You need to go and check it out. Your world provides trusted world, continent, and local stories. We deliver breaking news from across the globe and information on the latest top stories on business, technology, politics, and sport. Analysis of the big global business and economic issues as they affect consumers and investors. Make sure you don't miss Your World, weekdays between 11 and 12 midnight. We keep the nation fully informed.
Public Protector Advocate Tuli Madonsela says there's an emerging culture of a lack of respect for the rule of law. We're given resources to manage for the people of South Africa, but for every rand we get from the Minister of Finance, we use 80% for our own comfort and 20% for the core business. That's a just us mentality. That's a wrap for tonight. See you then. That's business news. Weekdays at 8 p.m. on SABC News. Hello and welcome to Rights and Recourse, the show that explores your legal rights and recourse to those violated. I'm your host, Dumila Matez. Will the ban on, on alcohol or the marketing of alcoholic beverages include things like sorghum beer, homemade beer and those kind of things? I think what is, uh, must be clear is that we are not banning the industry, not at all. We are controlling the industry. As I'm sitting here, I'm actually agreeing with the minister violently. Advertisement says to young people, it's cool uh, to drink. Uh, drinking is associated with success. Drinking is associated with the celebrities. We cannot afford to have uh, adverts on television that glorifies al alcohol. That's Rights and Recourse, Sundays 2 p.m. on SABC News. Two minutes after seven, time now for news. Opposition parties have criticized the ANC for what they call its failure to fulfill its promises. During yesterday's launch of its election,